Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video looks a little bit different, but I'm trying a new format. I have a new toy here in my filming room that you're going to see when I try on some things. So this video is also different because it's kind of a life update and what's been going on with me. Plus it's, I'm going to call it part one of my Nordstrom sale purchase try on because I haven't gotten everything in yet. They're being a little bit slow with some of the deliveries, but I am going to show you what I have so far and let you see those and jump on them if you are interested before the sale is over. As you may or may not have noticed, my filming and posting schedule has been a little bit more sporadic this summer. And there are a few reasons for that. One is just taking time with family and we've gone on some trips. And also for the last month, I have been caring for my 82 year old aunt here in my home. So many of you have heard me say my mother is deceased. She passed away in 2010 after a brief battle with cancer. And my mother was a twin. So my aunt that is here with me is my mother's twin sister. She's a widow and she never had her own children. So I'm her next of kin, well, my sister and I. After her husband's death, she sold their house in Miami. She's lived in Miami my whole life. She moved there straight out of college. She went to college, got her education degree. Then she went on and got her master's degree. And then a friend of hers from college decided, hey, let's move somewhere. They were from small town, Tennessee, and they moved to Miami as young single women in the mid 1960s. And she stayed there ever since. She is a 40 year teaching veteran in the Miami-Dade County public school system. She taught third grade, so she's touched many, many lives over the years. After her husband's death, she sold her house in Miami and her best friend sold her house and they moved in together into an apartment so they didn't have to worry about house maintenance and things like that. So they lived together for several years and this past December, her best friend, Lois was her name. Lois passed away from congestive heart failure. Lois had a lot of health problems, but my aunt has always been tough as nails and not really had any medical issues. So between the two of them, they were a good pair. Lois was sharp till the end, even though her body failed her. And my aunt being strong physically, she could do things that Lois couldn't. So between the two of them, they were a really good pair. People started seeing a decline in my aunt. And once Lois was passed, it was obvious that my aunt could not live by herself, nor did she want to. So Lois's daughter, who my aunt had been close with all through the years, lives in Tallahassee, and she graciously invited my aunt to come and stay with her, at least, you know, until we could reach the next step. So she's been there in Tallahassee at her home for the last six months, and it became evident pretty quickly how significant my aunt's cognitive decline had been. I came down and visited back in the spring and just to see for myself, cause I hadn't seen her in about a year and a half. And there was a big difference between the last time I had seen my aunt and when I saw her this spring. And I brought her up to my house to visit with me and stay with me for a while and give them a break. So we're looking at assisted living facilities, memory care facilities, all that close to me since I'm her next of kin and I'm listed as her medical POA. So having her in my home has been wonderful for a lot of reasons, but it's also been very challenging. Dealing with someone who has dementia or Alzheimer's is a full-time job. She requires a lot of supervision and in a lot of ways, it's kind of like having a toddler in your house. You have to do everything for them. If I didn't prepare food and fix it for her, she would just eat candy and junk all day and insist that she wasn't hungry. Uh, she gets confused about where she is and she confuses me with my mother a lot. And she's just not very conversational anymore. Um, she'll answer questions and she'll ask questions, but the rest of her conversation is mainly about my dogs. She loves my dogs. 
And here is a picture of her holding Louie, my male wire fox terrier. She absolutely adores animals and always has, so they bring her a lot of joy. But between the dogs and talking about the weather, that's kind of the extent of the conversation with her. So it's been very tiring and it is encroached on my filming schedule. So I just wanted to let you guys know kind of what is going on with me. Um, we're working toward getting her somewhere, but that's a process and I know it will take a while, but we're moving in the right direction. So that is the update with what's going on with me. I do have a lot of content planned and upcoming for you guys, so I'm not going anywhere, but just bear with me while my schedule might be not as regular as it has been in the past. So with all that being said, let's get into some fun stuff, and that is trying on some of my Nordstrom sale purchases. Okay, so first, here is my new toy. I got the official <laughs> mirror of all influencers. This is the, I think it's called the Primrose Mirror from Anthropology, and I got the six foot version. So I've got it here in the corner along this wall. It's really the only place I have to put it. So this is for checking out my outfits, selfies, and that sort of thing. And hello. I am going to attempt to show you some outfits just holding my camera and doing some shots in the mirror. So this first thing that I'm wearing, this is definitely something that you can wear now and wear later. This is a little sweater by Nick and Zoe, and I included this in my Nordstrom sale preview, you know, things that I was recommending, and it is just as good as I had hoped that it would be. It is a cotton and linen blend and it's this beautiful kind of cerulean blue color and this is one of my favorites and i decided to put it on just with some white jeans to show you guys because this is definitely something you can wear now with your white denim it's got a nice v-neck of course my my mic is making that side kind of stick out and i just put it on with these white jeans from J. Crew and my little Tory Burch slide sandals. So this is the first item I picked up from the sale. Next up, I have this sweater and jeans from the Nordstrom sale. The sweater is by Caslon, which is a Nordstrom brand. And it's just kind of this really soft knit. I wish the window was right beside <laughs> my mirror so you could get better view close up, but there you go. It's made of a nylon and acrylic blend. I'm not crazy about the fact that it has acrylic in it, but it's only partially acrylic, so I'm not getting that creepy crawly feel. And I love the V-neck, love the seam down the front. Uh, this is in an extra small. I read the reviews and everyone said to size down because it runs big. And I can see that because I hardly ever wear an extra small in any kind of top or sweater. But this, as you can see, it's got the slit on the side. It's a little bit longer in the back and it's long enough on me that I can wear this with leggings. I guess it depends on your height. If you're taller, I would say order your normal size. So here is the back of the sweater. I don't know if you can see the seam that runs down the back. So the jeans are by AG. These are the Mary, they are a high rise slim straight. And they're supposed to be ankle length, but as you can see, these are not ankle length. These are full length on me. I can wear them with my booties. And these are some booties that are by Steve Madden. They're always included in the sale. I will include this year's version in my links. And you guys know everything will be linked down in the description below as always. So here's the first look. Now these jeans, this is a premium denim brand. So it, they're still over $100 hundred dollars or about 150. I like them, but I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them because I ordered another pair that haven't arrived yet that I want to try first and make a decision. But the sweater, I can see me wearing this a lot with jeans, with leggings. It's just a good fall color and I do like it. 
and let's see what's next. I know I hear from a lot of my viewers that you get frustrated when you go to shop my links that are in my video description only to find out that the item is no longer available or maybe it's sold out in your size. And I understand that frustration. It's happened to me. Here is the best way to get first dibs on content that I show and all your other influ favorite influencers show. And that is to follow us on the free Like to Know It app. Take out your phone right now if you're watching me on a tablet or TV or computer and scan this QR code. That will take you straight to my shop on the LTK app. You can bookmark my page and check there every day because I do post every day in the LTK app. You'll find all manner of things out there, including my outfits, because it's a lot easier for me to post things out there first or post on Instagram, Facebook, before I've had a chance to film, edit, and produce a YouTube video. So if you want first dibs on all the good stuff, be sure to follow me on the Light to Know It app. So next I have this knit blazer jacket by Caslon, and I love this. I got this in a size small and in this kind of nutmeg color that is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just wearing it with this tank underneath. This is one of those sweater tanks that I got from Express that I've been wearing all summer. I got this one and a black one. But this has just one button in the front, and I doubt that I would ever button that unless the wind was blowing and I needed to. But I think this is very slimming the way there's no lapel. It's just very clean lines. And I'll show you the back. So there's the back view. This jacket comes in a ton of different colors, neutrals. Comes in a pretty green, black, navy this color and it was at a really good price. So, so far this is definitely a winner from my sale picks. Next I have this woven plaid shirt from Caslon. This is a great flannel-ish shirt. It is not as thick as flannel and not as heavy, but it's definitely got that soft touch just like flannel. It's a really comfortable, nice drapey shirt. And I got it in this black cream and gray plaid. I can button it up all the way, but I decided to wear this tank under it because I prefer to keep things kind of unbuttoned and looser and give me more breathing room up here around my neck. And you can tuck this in or do a front tuck, but it is also long enough to wear out like a tunic and it's longer in the back than it is the front. So I could wear this definitely with leggings. So I think that may be what I wear it with, or you can just leave it unbuttoned, kind of like just a little shirt jacket over a tank. So this that makes it a really great transition piece for when, you know, it's a little bit cooler in the fall, but you don't need a full blown jacket or coat, especially not me living in the South. So this would be a great layer, great top to just tie around your waist. You know, if you're wearing a plain outfit and need just something to tie around, this would be a great option for that to just tie a little shirt around your waist. And regular price on this was $59. I wanna say it's priced in the 30, somewhere in the $30 range, which I think is a really good deal for this shirt. I hope you've been enjoying this more casual video today. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not. And everything that I've shown today will be linked down in the description box below as always. And I appreciate you guys using those links for purchases because it really does help out my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. I really appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.